Hello, today I will show you how to do a consortium of pboh file. You need to remember pboh file is something like this. We drew a hole first and then put the h file inside and do the grouting and then we complete the so called pboh file. The inside diameter of the pboh file is a 550 and before every type of uh, foundation works we need to do the pjuling uh, works. You can see many places in Hong Kong you will see this is a so called a drilling machine this is a the worker they try, try to do a hole below the ground and then take the sample below the ground and take out to see whether this is good work. for example this is a sample they taken out uh, from the ground level and then you can imagine this is a very good work and then after this sample we can assume the work head level and then this is a so-called typical foundation pan. For example, this is a power cap uh, 13. You can see there's a three pulse inside this uh, power cap. And then through the session mark, you can see the total length. For example, the bottom level is minus 18. And then you can see this is the bottom level. And then the ground level is about 6 MPD. That means you can imagine the total length should be uh, 24 meter length. And then this is a so-called simple step to, to do the pH power. The first one, we drew a hole first, and then after that, we drew the uh, back wall, and then we do the kinning first and put the H power inside and do the grouting and take away the casing, and then they compute the so-called pH power. And I show you in detail. The first one is a so-called installation of the temporary casing. Remember, the temporary casing used to protect the soil coming from the people the hole. That means during the drilling, there's a no more soil will come will coming into the through the hole. And then the temporary casing will drill further to the wall head. And then this is to show you the mechanism how to drill a hole. You can imagine this is a drill bit, they can drill a bigger hole and then the casing will be lower down at the same time. And then they go further and further, they can drill the uh, soil materials. And then this is uh, another type of the drill bit when they do the drilling of the rock material. This is so called a diamond bit. You can see at the front is a diamond, it's made of diamond. That means they can easily drill a hard rock material. You can see at this moment, the hole will already drill to the uh, rock head level, so called the funding level. And after that, we complete the drilling. We need to make sure all the dirty things or dirty soil get away from the casing. That means we need to do the cleaning mess. And then we, after do, we do the cleaning mess, we need to do the edge power welding. Remember, every edge power is about 12 meter. Normally, the power length should be more than 12 meter. That means we need to do the another connection by welding. That means you can see the weld, welder sitting next to it, and then weld. It may take them one or two hours sometimes. After that, we do the uh, welding work, and then at the same time, we take away the casing by this vibrator. Okay? Remember, the casing is very expensive. That's why the contractor tried to take out uh, the casing. To save the money and also during the grouting, the grouting already protect the H power and then that means the temporary casing is no longer fun, no longer have any function they can take out easily. That is so called the bundle product of this H power. And after that, we every power is we sometimes we take one percent or two percent or one numbers or two numbers of total of powers and they do the testing in order to make sure whether the quality is good enough, uh, whether there's a poor workmanship, something like this. We, by this loading test, we uh, see the reading in the down gauge, and then if the reading is too large, that means the power may be failed due to some reason. We need to investigate and stop any worse go further. This is so-called the function of the loading test. And remember, in Hong Kong, the mini power or the pH power, normally the assumption of the calculation is due to the friction inside the rock level. I show you this is a diagram. Actually, there's a three components to determine the critical uh, loading of the foundation. The first one, we need to calculate the capacity of the power first, and then we need to calculate the bond between the steel and welding, and the third one is the welding and the 
work. Normally, this is a critical uh, uh, cases doing the calculation of the length of the work head. I show you one of the example how to determine. For example, this is a so-called bone shaft resistance. For example, it's a 480 kPa, and actually this is a so-called diameter of the parameter of the H power, and then the total length is assumed is a seven meter. We can easily find out is a, the capacity can reach up to six thousand uh, kilonewton. This is so-called uh, capacity of the power, and then, but in this case, this is something. Uh, you need to check. For example, the H power is actually is a four thousand, six thousand one hundred something. That means you can say the capacity of the final power is should be six thousand and one hundred and six. This is so called the uh, we method try to tell you how to calculate the capacity of the power. That means you can see actually you need to check the H power capacity, and then we need to check the bonding between the H power and the grouting. And the third one, we need to consider the grouting and the wall, whether the fi friction will be controlled and the critical. That's why uh, this is so called the three cases we need to check. In certain cases, this is a common uh, critical thing, but in other position or in other case, this is maybe another critical cases maybe like the H power capacity may not be good enough even we add the length to 10 meter or 12 meter it doesn't further enhance the capacity of the power oh thank you